showing you how to save and view email attachments on your iPhone or iPod Touch. Firstly, we need two programs. These are called iFile and Attachment Saver. You can see iFile right here. And Attachment Saver is basically like your tube. It installs itself into the uh, mail app and then uh, it allows you to save those attachments. You can find the, both of those cracked on Cydia and I will put the uh, the repo uh, for both of them on the sidebar over there. So firstly, I'll show you how to save using Attachment Saver. Okay, so here we have an email that I sent myself and there we have an attachment world.jpg I'm going to click this arrow pointing to the left and hit save all attachments and then saving so if you have iFile you can see it says show an iFile so we'll hit that and then you see iFile will load up and then you'll see world.jpg so you can tap on that and you'll see the attachment um, as you can see up here it shows where it's at it's var slash mobile slash library slash attachments so if you want to get that out of there you can SSH into your iPhone or iPod touch and go to that so we have a few options down here we have all these options here which is just for iFile itself then we have web server here we can we have bookmarks home just takes you back to us uh, var slash mobile if you want to get back to where, where you go to var slash mobile slash library slash attachments there they are so we'll go to world you can see it right there you, if you click edit you can delete it then if you click the arrow you can see you can open it with a number of different things now what I like about iFile is that not only you know can you open up those types of files but look at all the types of files that you can open up. You can see right there. Sound files, text files, movie files, image files, document files, and other files. <coughs> like I said, you can find both of these cracked. I just wanted to make a quick video showing you how to um, save these uh, attachments and then open them up. And if you want to get them out of your iPod, just SSH into it. So that's pretty much it. Just a quick, simple video. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe.